All right, well, welcome everybody. I am, here I am. I am Nora Bloom, I'm with Travel Leaders and I just wanna thank you all for joining us today. Uh, I get to introduce John Winters from Royal Caribbean. He's got some amazing things to tell us about cruising, getting ready to start this summer. I can't wait, it's been such a long time. So um, John, I am gonna turn it over to you and thank you again for, for being here. You're welcome, Nora. Thanks for uh, inviting me, and thanks to all of you, ladies and gentlemen, for uh, joining us this afternoon. I appreciate it very much. And uh, as Nora said, I'm John Winters with Royal Caribbean, and um, yes, it's been a while since we've had a ship on the ocean. Uh, 14 months, 15 months since we've done anything out of the U.S. We have been cruising out of uh, Asia uh, since last fall, and we've been cruising with a... Um, uh, with our German um, counterpart, our German uh, sister brand, since last fall as well. So we've had uh, probably close to 200,000 people that have cruised with us. And uh, happy to say we've had uh, really not any instances to worry about. So we're, uh, we're ready to go. Of course, our main concern is to keep everybody uh, safe and um, make you feel comfortable and safe about planning your travel plans with us through uh, travel leaders. And so we came out with our Cruise with Confidence program when the whole pandemic thing started. Uh, we actually started this beginning of March last year and uh, it's continued. As a matter of fact, it was just extended. What Cruise with Confidence does is it gives you the ability to be more in control of your vacation plan with us. So instead of following our cancel policy, you can follow your own. Uh, basically, what Cruise with Confidence does, um, as long as you make reservations um, anytime on or before July 31, um, 2021, so you have to book before July 31, and you can sail anytime through April of 2022 on any of our different cruises. And what the policy allows you to do is, is have flexibility, um, and you decide if you want to go with us or not. If something comes up and you don't feel comfortable, if there's an issue, anything at all, you can get 100% future cruise credit um, when you're paid in full with us if you cancel, and you can cancel up to 48 hours prior to the sale date. So it's, it's unheard of flexibility. We've also got our best price guarantee. And what that allows you to do is um, best price guarantee policy is also into effect up to 48 hours prior to your sale date. And again, it's valid on cruises departing on or after or on or before April 30th. So that means if you make reservations today and uh, three months from now, the price goes down, uh, you can get that lower price. And that's good uh, right up until 48 hours before you sail. Now, if you've already made final payment, um, what we're going to do instead of giving you a refund is we're going to give you an onboard credit for the uh, difference that the price has gone down. So money to spend on board the ship. Um, if it's before final payment, then we're just going to adjust your price and you'll pay us the lower rate when you make final payment. So um, it really is a, is a great, great program. And it really puts you in control. And as the name of the program says, it gives you complete confidence to, to plan your vacation now. Of course, one thing everyone wants to know is what are we doing to, to maintain uh, safety for everyone? Of course, that's our number one concern, safety for our guests, our crew, and our ships. And so we've done lots of uh, new things. Uh, we've put together a uh, healthy sail panel, and our healthy sail panel is made up um, of uh, experts from around the area. Actually, one of the experts was from the University of Minnesota, Dr. Michael um, Oberheim, I think his name was. Uh, he's on President Biden's um, advisory board for COVID. We also had as our head, as our co-chairs, we had uh, former head of um, the uh, Health and Human uh, Resources uh, Department. Uh, he was the former um, uh, cabinet member. And then we also had the former head of the Food and Drug Administration. So we had true experts on uh, our panel to help us come up with all these safety measures. So one of the things we did is we improved our uh, filtration system, the HVAC system 
on the ships so that we're continually uh, filtering fresh ocean air in. We've also upgraded um, our cleaning standards, medical grade cleaning standards. Uh, of course, cruise ships were always good with this. You know, cruise ships, we always had hand sanitizer available. I mean, I've been at Royal Caribbean for 25 years, and I think for, I think from day one that I've been with Royal Caribbean, we always had hand sanitizer on the ships. You had to sanitize your hands before you even got on the ship. So we've always been ahead of the curve. And then we've upgraded our medical facilities and expert care so that if someone does get sick, we're able to take care of them in the manner that they need. And then we've partnered with local authorities um, to all the different places our ships go <clears throat> so that if anyone does get sick again, we can uh, uh, have the protocols in place to, um, you know, tr uh, to get you home safely. So that's mainly what uh, we're trying to do. And, and again, just to give you a little bit more detail on our uh, HVAC system with the filtered air, in our public areas, the air is, uh, is, is filtered and changed about 15 to 20 times an hour. In the stateroom itself, it's over uh, 12 times an hour in a stateroom. And that's twice as much as what's recommended for places like grocery stores, theaters, and hotel lobbies. Uh, we've got uh, localized filtration. Uh, these uh, high-grade filters that can take out, um, you know, micro um, uh, particles and uh, and viruses. So we, we stop it from even coming onto the ship is what we're trying to do. Um, also, we have a, a brand new uh, muster drill that we do. The lifeboat drill is what you might uh, know it as. And we actually came up with this lifeboat drill in December of 2019. So it was really even before the pandemic, uh, you know, became uh, such a force in our lives. But we, what we wanted to do was to make it uh, uh, faster and, and more personal. Um, we wanted to have, uh, again, when the pandemic came out, it was great because it was higher levels of safety, uh, no more large crowds. And basically the way it works, um, instead of having everybody go to their lifeboat station at uh, like 430 before the ship sails, and have everyone crowded into to one area. Uh, we, we've done it so that you can uh, partake in this on your mobile app or the interactive stateroom in your TV. Uh, interactive TV in your stateroom, sorry. Uh, so basically what you do is you, uh, you watch the safety video, uh, either on your TV in the cabin or on your phone. And uh, when you watch the video, uh, it uh, notifies us that the video has been seen. Then you take your entire family or group to the lifeboat station that you're assigned to so that you can check in with our crew member there. And then that way they, you can make sure you know where it is. Um, they ask you if you've got any questions. So again, if there's any uh, questions or concerns you've got, maybe you've got a small child, you wanna know about smaller life jackets, that type of thing, they can take care of all of that for you. And then, um, that's kind of it. What's nice about it is you can go to your lifeboat station anytime from the time you get on the ship until about a half hour before the ship sails. So it makes it a lot more convenient, a lot easier for you to do, and uh, a lot more flexibility uh, with your vacation. And speaking of vacations, if you're like me and you've been itching to get on a vacation on a cruise ship, uh, they're available right now. Uh, we're open for sale. Um, the first cruise that we're going to be doing uh, this this summer, June 12th, is going to be on the Adventure of the Seas, sailing out of Nassau in the Bahamas. So you'll fly to Nassau, you'll get on board our ship, you'll spend, um, uh, you'll go to our private island, Perfect Day, at Coco Cay for two days. Then you'll spend a day at sea, go to Cozumel, Mexico, another day at sea. Then you'll go to Grand Bahama Island in the, the Bahamas, and then you'll end up back at Nassau. So this is open to, uh, to everybody. All nationalities, all guests are available for this. And uh, this program is starting June 12th and running through September 11th. Uh, one of the things I like best about this is that we're going to spend time on our perfect day at Coco Cay. This is the Royal Caribbean private island. So I like this for a couple of things. One, it's just a great destination. Uh, we like to say that you can chill or you can thrill. And with two days, you've got one day for chilling, one day for thrilling. Um, 
But what I really like about it right now is because it's totally under the control of Royal Caribbean, we know that everybody there is vaccinated. So all the um, employees that work on the island, um, all of our guests on the cruise are going to be vaccinated. Well, it's going to be a very, very safe environment for everybody and a lot of fun, too. Um, so if you like to, to kind of chill, my favorite place to chill is the Oasis Lagoon. Um, they've got a, a big swim-up bar there. It's the largest freshwater pool in the Caribbean. So it's just fantastic. There's plenty of places to find uh, a spot in the sun or in the shade. One end of the pool has a, a zero entry area, so it's like walking in from the beach. So if, you, if you're traveling with little kids, it's great. The water starts out there just a couple inches deep. Then there's kind of the busy area for adults near the, the swim-up bar area. And then on the other side beyond that is kind of the more quiet area. So you can kind of find your own place to hang out and just uh, sit back and relax. Or if you want to take relaxation up to the next level, Hey, John, we're having trouble with your audio. Can't hear you yet, but I'm going to see if I can. Let's see. Can there you hear me we now? go. We've got All you right. back. Thank you. Sorry about that. I, I dropped off and uh, I had to get back on. So. Technical difficulties. Um, so I was talking about Cocoa Beach Club. This is uh, another option that's available to you. Cocoa Beach Club has an additional cost. So it's kind of our, our more upscale uh, area on the island for people who kind of want to get away from it. Um, they've got their own restaurant here um, where you're getting, uh, well, you're getting steak and lobster there where the rest of us are getting hot dogs and hamburgers and chicken and tacos and ribs. So just kind of depending on what you want to do. But the, my favorite thing here is these over the water bungalows that are available for rent. Uh, these are fantastic. Now we've got other bungalows in other areas. So it's not your only option, but these are the only over the water bungalows. Actually, I think they're the only ones in the Bahamas. Um, so you've got some options that are available to you here. Um, and then for thrill, there's nothing like the water park that we have. Uh, Daredevil's Peak is the tallest water slide in North America. I think it's 11 stories high. Uh, it's just unbelievable. Uh, the Adventure Pool uh, Splash Speedway. My favorite is the Slingshot that you see on the lower right side of the screen. Um, you, you can go down with uh, several people in this big inner tube. And the slingshot is what we're showing the picture of. You come out of this slide and it, and it throws you way up and you, you think you're gonna go off the end of this and then you slingshot back down at the end of the, at the, end of the ride. So it is really a lot of fun. And I'll tell you what, um, when I went to Perfect Day for the first time, it was the first time in my life that I've been on a, a water slide. And I never thought I would do it. I thought, ah, I'm not that big of a, a water slide person. But I have to say, I went there and I tried it once and then I just kept going all day. So it definitely is a fun spot. It brings out your inner child and uh, you're gonna have a fantastic time there. Um, and then of course, we have to take care of you for food too. You've got lots of options, all the foods included. Um, We've got two grills, Skipper Grill and the Chill Grill. And then we've got Captain Jack's. And actually at Captain Jack's, that's a bar restaurant with like bar food, um, chicken wings and, and, and things like that. That food you do pay for. But the Skipper's Grill, the Chill Grill, and then there's um, three other um, hamburger shacks that are set up strategically throughout the park. And that's all, all included as well. So unless you want uh, something specific off of Captain Jack's menu, all your food's included. And then we've got also a fantastic Europe option that's available starting in uh, early July, mid-July. And this is gonna run through October of this year. And this is starting in Cyprus. So you'll fly from uh, here to Cyprus, uh, you'll get on the ship, and then you're going to take in the Greek Isles. You're going to see uh, Rhodes, Mykonos, Athens, Santorini, Crete, 
a day at sea to relax after all that busy time and then back to Cyprus and then uh, home from there. So it's a seven night cruise. Uh, you can arrange with your travel uh, leader's advisor to go in early or stay late if you wanted to extend your cruise a little bit um, and they could help you with all of that. But again, a fantastic opportunity uh, to get back on a cruise and uh, see some beautiful places. Now, right now we do have some uh, uh, protocols that are in place for both of these cruises. Uh, currently, uh, vaccines are required for all guests that can uh, get vaccines. And I say all guests because uh, that can get them because for example, right now, uh, children under 12 can't be vaccinated, but they're still welcome to come. But anyone who's um, eligible for a vaccine would need to get a vaccine. All of our crew is going to be vaccinated as well. And then there's a, a pre-arrival test that you need to do and show the results on that. And then there's also a health acknowledgement form that you would fill out from us prior to getting um, to the pier as well. And then also NASA in the Bahamas has a health visa that they require. And there is a cost to that. I wanna say it's about $80. And uh, we're going to reimburse you for that cost with an onboard credit. So you'll pay $80 a person for the visa. We'll give you $80 per person onboard credit to spend on the ship. So for drinks or spa treatments or in the casino, however you wanna spend that. So right now there's just a couple of extra things that you need to do uh, prior to getting on um, the ships on those two cruises. And the best news is Alaska at last, Alaska is back. We had to cancel the entire season last year. And this year we were in danger of having to cancel the season again, uh, primarily because currently right now, um, all the Canadian cruise ports are closed to cruise ships. And the biggest reason for this, that Canada has their borders closed is that they're behind in their vaccinations. They're not as, uh, as vaccinated as we are here in the US. And part of that is because I heard the other day because um, they don't manufacture their own vaccine. So they have to buy them uh, from other countries like from us and other countries. And they're, they're just not as up on that. So with all the uh, Canadian ports closed, uh, one of the uh, regulations of the US government was that any uh, cruise ship sailing from the US uh, to Alaska had to include a stop in a foreign port, in which means in Canada. So for example, the serenade was originally set to start in Vancouver and then cruise up to Alaska and come back to Vancouver. So Vancouver was the foreign port. The ovation um, originally was uh, scheduled to sail out of Seattle round trip, but it included a stop in Victoria, uh, British Columbia. So it got its foreign port in there. But uh, Congress and, and the House just passed, or Congress and the Senate just passed a, um, a resolution and Joe Biden signed it, uh, I think two days ago, that uh, suspended that U.S. regulation that, um, in, that made us have to include a foreign port. So the good news is we can cruise in Alaska. Serenade is going to start July 19th. Ovation is going to start August 13th. Um, so Serenade, they'll both sail out of Seattle. Uh, Serenade, July 19, uh, ovation starting August 13. And um, you can see there the itineraries that they're going to be doing. This will actually give you a little bit better uh, comparison and, and show you the map on where we are. So they're both starting and ending in Seattle. Serenade will have a day at sea, then go to Sitka. Endicott Arm and Dawes Glacier, and also stopping in Icy Strait Point. Juneau, Ketchikan, a day at sea, back to Seattle. Uh, Ovation will do slightly different. It's going to uh, start uh, a day at sea. It'll cruise the inside passage all the way up to Juneau and then have time in Juneau, Skagway, Sitka, then hit the glacier on the way home, uh, cruising and back to Seattle. So the difference between the two is Ovation includes Skagway, Serenade includes Ketchikan. Otherwise, uh, the uh, itineraries would be the same ports. So that's what we've got that's cruising in Alaska, open for sale um, right now and cruising starting in, um, in July. 
So we're pretty excited about that because, uh, well, one big reason is that the um, the businesses, the small tourist businesses in Alaska really, really were hurting from missing all of last year and then, you know, basically about at least half of this year. So it's nice that we can get up there, bring some business to them up there and help them, uh, you know, survive financially. So that's that's great. Uh, speaking of great, another great uh, news event that just was announced recently is that Royal Caribbean is returning to the West Coast. We're going to have a, a cruise ship that's going to sail out of Los Angeles starting in November this year. Now, this is already open for sale, and um, we haven't been on the West Coast for about 10 years, so we're pretty pumped about this. Um, it's the Navigator of the Seas. Navigator... Um, is a ship that we just spent, uh, we, we revitalized this ship in 2019, which means we gave it a big facelift, basically. And uh, it was quite the facelift. We spent $140 million on this ship. And it is so many fun things to do. They got new bars and restaurants, new activities. Um, it, it's, it's just unbelievably uh, beautiful ship right now. Water slides that we didn't have before. Um, lime in the coconut uh, uh, bar up on pool deck. One of my favorite bars is called the R Bar, and it's kind of a uh, a throwback to the '60s. So I don't know, maybe the R Bar, maybe it stands for retro. But what you feel like you've stepped back into time, like um, if you remember the TV show Mad Men, that's what you feel like. You go in there, and they have all the classic cocktails from the from the '60s. You go in there and get a, you know, like a brandy stinger and a, and a sidecar, and, you know, drinks like that. So it's kind of a fun place. They've got everything else, too, but it's really kind of a fun place. And this ship is going to sail out of Los Angeles starting in November this year, uh, open for sale through April of 2023. It'll do three night Ensenada, four night Catalina in Ensenada, five night Cabo and Ensenada, and then seven night uh Cabo, Puerto Vallarta, and Mazatlan. So really a variety of itineraries, um, lots of fun places. If you've never been to Catalina, it's a really fun place to go. Uh, my wife and I were out visiting friends that uh, live in, uh, they actually live in San Pedro, right uh, where the ship sails from. And we took a sailboat out to Catalina while we were out there and we ran into a, a school of dolphins that swam alongside of us. And that was just the coolest thing. And uh, Ten years ago, when we had our ship there, the same thing happened on the big cruise ship. The dolphins were following the ship. So it's a fantastic itinerary. Lots of options. Your uh, travel leader's travel advisor can uh, hook you up with this cruise. Maybe combine it with a trip to Disneyland or Universal Studios out there. Uh, there's lots of sightseeing to do in the Los Angeles area, so you can make it into a longer trip if you want it. Earlier this year, we announced that we're going to move the grandeur of the seas uh, to Barbados as a home port. So this ship is going to start and end in Barbados. Uh, what's nice about this is it gives us uh, exposure to more Southern Caribbean islands, um, actually to some of the islands that we've never been to before. So we're pretty excited about that. Um, and like the first night itinerary, the seven night Southern Caribbean island hop, that goes to a new island every day. So there's no day at sea. Every day you wake up at, at a new island, a new country, new excitement. Uh, the Southern Caribbean adventure is a little bit different. You do have some uh, day at sea there, uh, but it does take in again, some very popular islands. And then we've got the 14 night ultimate Caribbean which will actually have overnight stays in, um, in Aruba. So um, that's fantastic. And Barbados, a little bit further out of the way to get to, but again, your uh, travel advisor from Travel Leaders can help you with that. Um, for example, they can look at our air program. Uh, we've actually got uh, charter flights that start from Miami. So they can get you to Miami, hook up on one of our charter flights, uh, there's direct, there's uh, uh, flights that are right from uh, Minnesota too. So they'll find you the best way to get there. And then you can enjoy this fabulous itinerary once you're there. Um, Odyssey of the Seas is our newest ship. It's a quantum class ship. So it's a little bit smaller than Oasis class. 
And Odyssey was actually right now supposed to be starting to sail out of Israel. And as you probably have seen on the news, uh, things in Israel are not real great right now. So we didn't want to put any of our, our, our guests or crew or ships in harm's way. So we really canceled those cruises before they even got started. And Odyssey is actually on her way to Fort Lauderdale right now. So she was scheduled to come here in November and start doing cruises in November. But I think we're going to see an announcement coming within the next week or so that she's going to start cruising, uh, hopefully even this summer. And you'll have another option to get on a cruise ship um, right away. And this is our, our newest ship. It's got lots of fun things to do. The sky pad that you see on the upper left side of the screen Imagine this, uh, inside this dome, there's uh, three uh, bungee trampolines. And if that wasn't fun enough, they come with, uh, uh, with uh, 3D virtual reality goggles. And so you can choose different experiences that you wanna have. I'll tell you, it's almost as fun to just stand out there and listen to everybody screaming and laughing and having a good time in there than it is to do it itself. Uh, Giovanni's Italian Kitchen and Wine Bar is a new restaurant that we have on there for this ship. Uh, the Lime and the Coconut is one of our um, poolside bars that I mentioned before. It's got a solarium on board the ship, which the solariums on our Royal Caribbean ships are basically adult-only areas. So if you like to get away and have a little peace and quiet, it's a good place to hang out. El Loco Fresh is our um, Mexican restaurant that's included in the pricing and then we've got um uh this is the ship that's even got bumper cars on board so you can see here in cplex we've got the bumper cars um all kinds of fun stuff to do on odyssey uh, it was going to do six seven and eight night caribbean itineraries um starting in november so those are on schedule right now but we probably will have something yet this summer beyond that uh, and we've got new ships coming too. Odyssey is out this year. Wonder is going to be out in 2022. Um, the Icon class will be 22 and 23. And then the fifth Oasis class will be sometime in 2023 as well. Um, we do have a new digital brochure for you to uh, shop for your cruises. And this is something that your um, travel advisors from travel leaders can make available to you. <clears throat> uh, we didn't print a paper brochure this year because things were in such a state of flux. Everything was changing, and, and this way we can get the information out to you in more detail. We can have up-to-date pricing and itineraries, um, so it's downloadable and printable. Um, it's very easy to, uh, to share with, with your friends as well. And so you can find this, you can get this from your travel leader's uh, travel advisor, or you can also find it on our website as well, either way. However you find it, you wanna make sure that you work with one of the travel advisors from Travel Leaders to put your plans together because they're going to know all the ins and outs. For example, they know all about Flight Finder, which is our air, where you book our air to sea programs. And there's lots of advantages of booking our air versus doing something on your own. Uh, one thing is we've got special negotiated rates. Um, the pricing is all live pricing. It's very convenient. The majority of our airfares that we have are uh, booked now, but you don't pay for it until you make your final payment on the cruise. The other thing is that we have what we call our assured arrival program. And what that's all about is if you're booked on our air and then there's a delay in your flight, and let's say you're going to get to Miami uh, two hours after our ship sails, we'll work with the airline to, to fly you to the next island that you can get on the ship. And so we catch you up to the ship. We'll even pay for two nights of hotel if we need to, to catch you up to the ship. So again, your travel advisors from Travel Leaders, they know all about this. They're going to get you the best package deal to get you there and take care of everything. Um, these are some of the offers that we have in place right now. Um, we have our, um, our uh, well, this is a better picture of the same thing. Uh, we have our, our BOGO offer, buy one, get one. So it's buy one, person pays regular price, second person is 60% off, 30% off third and fourth in the room. And then we've got um, another offer that's offering up to an additional $150 discount. Um, 
uh, per person as well. So there's some absolutely fantastic savings that are out there right now. And then if you happen to be a Crown and Anchor member, um, if you book by the end of June, so make reservations by the end of this month, and you're sailing any time through September of uh, next year, 2022, you'll get double loyalty points. So it's a way that you can move up to the next level so much quicker because you're getting double points. So that's a, a big thing too, big advantage. And then uh, right now, um, for any of you that may have uh, served in the military, first of all, thank you very much for your service. It's, it's much appreciated. Um, and we do have uh, military rates that are available. We do uh, police, firefighters, and first responders as well. But um, over this Memorial Day week, if you make reservations between, October, uh, between May 28 and June 4, uh, you can get an additional 10% off of uh, the uh, vacation rates. And that's good for sailings October 1 of this year through the end of March uh, next year. So really perfect for us in Minnesota because it's at prime late fall over the holidays and then January, February, March of next year when we all want to get out of town. And that's available on the seven night Caribbean, uh, our sailings out of the Northeast, our long and short Caribbean. And uh, we've just added our uh, Los Angeles sailings on to that as well. So lots of good opportunities as far as that goes for you too. And then um, some of you might have future cruise certificates from a cruise that you had maybe booked with us in, in 2020 or maybe earlier in 2021. Um, if we suspended the cruise or if you canceled under cruise with confidence, uh, you might have a future cruise certificate. The thing to keep in mind with those is um, those certificates, you have to uh, make reservations by April 30th, 2022, and you need to take, you need to sail by September 30th, 2022. So they're good for sailings through September 30th, 2022. Also, you remember I talked about the uh, best price guarantee. That is um, available for sailings uh, through the end of April, 2022. The future cruise certificates can be combinable with all of our current sales and promotions. So I mentioned uh, previously, like the buy one, get one 60% off. You can use a future cruise certificate uh, to apply to that. I know a lot of times when I have coupons, you know, you read the fine print, you find that it, it doesn't work on the discounts. These will work. Um, as I just mentioned too, you get double crown and anchor points. Um, so take advantage of that. And the best thing about the future cruise certificate is they can be used as your deposit on your cruise as well. So you can make reservations. Uh, typically it's a $500, 250 per person deposit, uh, but you don't even have to dip into your, your checkbook or your credit card. If you've got a future cruise certificate, you can use that uh, right there. And uh, the other thing is very much keep this in mind that the demand for cruising is, is very high. We're just now coming back right now, but uh, we've seen some phenomenal numbers of bookings being made every day. And we really think that the, uh, that the demand is going to surpass the supply. So a lot of people were thinking, well, when travel comes back, they're gonna be desperate. They're gonna have to lower the prices. And the opposite is really what's going on. Um, travel, one thing is with our ships, we're sailing at a reduced capacity so we can also have some um, social distancing taking place and not have it too crowded. So the ships are not at full capacity when we first start cruising. And so that means there's not as many staterooms to begin with. So you definitely want to talk with your uh, travel advisor from Travel Leaders. And if you've got a, a future cruise certificate from Anybody, let's say that you made your vacation plans directly with us, with Royal Caribbean, and then you've got a future cruise certificate, you don't have to come back to Royal Caribbean. You can go right to Travel Leaders and uh, they can book your vacation using that future cruise certificate. Or even if you've got a, a certificate from another agency and uh, you want to work with Travel Leaders, you're more than welcome to do that. So that that cruise, that future cruise certificate is yours, and you can use that with any travel agency that you want. Of course, I recommend Travel Leaders. They they have locations everywhere, and they've got uh, all the experts that can help you out 
to make sure you get the best vacation possible. One of the best things that uh, they'll encourage you to do is when you do get on a ship with us, to make your next cruise vacation while you're on board. It's called Next Cruise. And you can get up to a $600 onboard credit when you make reservations on board the ship. And we've got our new Royal Caribbean app that you can download. And it you don't even have to wait to talk to our um, consultants on board the ship. You can uh, do it yourself right on your phone. The best part about this is your travel leader's travel agent is going to be your agent on that new booking that you've made uh, on board ship. So they automatically stay with you the whole way through. So it's a win-win all the way around. And, you know, I always like to say that, you know, Royal Caribbean does a fantastic job. We'll take good care of you. And of course I get paid to say that. So um, I like to put in some other uh, awards that we've run. Uh, a lot of these are travel weekly awards and Travel Weekly is a travel agent magazine. So it's basically the travel agents who vote on this. And when you look at this, they've been doing this for 18 years, this uh, survey. We've won best cruise line in the Caribbean, best cruise line overall uh, for 18 years, best sales and service for the last 13 years, and uh, best private island uh, in 2020 for a uh, perfect day at Coco Cay. And typically we win best cruise line entertainment every year too. So those are some of the things that we're really known for. But uh, I want to thank you for your time. Uh, if anybody has any questions, we are here to take care of any questions as well. And um, again, uh, keep in mind that, uh, you know, what we want to do is put you in control of your vacation so you can book with us and, and cruise with confidence that you're in control. And you can also have that same confidence with with travel leaders. Um, they are gonna take care of you. They're gonna make sure that, uh, they're really your value interpreter. They're gonna make sure that you get the best deal that's right for you. So it doesn't necessarily mean the cheapest deal because that might not be right for you, but they're gonna make sure they get the best value for what you need to uh, meet your vacation demands. So thanks very much. Nora, do we have any questions? You know, I don't see any questions in the chat, but if you have any questions, feel free to put them in. I just want to thank you, John. What a great presentation. I'm so excited to see cruising come back and, and the ships look fantastic. Wow. I mean, love those new ships that are coming out. It looks great. Yeah, I can't wait either. Um, it's uh, It's been a long time and, and uh, I think we're going to, I think everybody's just going to have their socks knocked off when we get back on board and see all the be reminded of all the fun things that we've missed in, in cruising. All right. Well, I don't see any questions, but for anyone who does have a question, you've got my email, send it over and I'll be sure to get back to you. John, thank you again for your time and have a great Memorial Day weekend. Thanks. You too, Nora. And all of you that joined us, uh, thank you very much for your time. I hope you all have a great weekend too. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.